Session variables are automatically discarded after they are not used for timeout setting. Yeah, the session timeout is adjustable through a web.config. In the web.configuration file, you can adjust the time with this line. Session state timeout is equal to number of minutes. Web.config file will be there in our web, uh, every website. So there you can make these settings for the timeout period. Okay, you can mention the time over here. A persistent cookie will share the value across browser instances whereas a session using non-persistent cookie does not share its value. So a permanent cookie will share the value across browser instances okay, of that particular browser, Chrome only. You can use cookies, per permanent cookie you can use. Whenever you open that browser, the cookie information will be available to you. Whereas session using non-persistent cookie, session uses non-persistent cookie, does not share any does not share its value okay it will not share its value but a session on server is shared by all the windows opened in the same browser the best example suppose you logged into gmail account okay you logged into gmail account from gmail account there is a tab for you drive Google Drive. When you click on that, it will ask you to log in or it will just give you the page itself directly. It will give you the page directly, right? It will not ask you to log in. Instead, if you go directly to the Google home page and click on Drive, Google Drive, it will ask you to enter your login details. Likewise, if you open if you logged into Gmail and if you are trying to open Orkut again that in the new tab it will be open but Orkut will not ask you to enter the login details because you are already logged in so the information of session is shared by windows opened in that particular browser instance in the tabs Okay. Mr. Fajal, can you repeat that again, please? Yeah, I am giving you an example of Google. Okay. So I logged into Gmail and I am saying Orkut. After logged into Gmail, at the topmost, the, uh, I, I opened a new tab. There I am going to Orkut.com. <coughs> okay. When I am going to Orkut.com, it will not ask me the login details. So I logged into Gmail. Immediately I am going to Orkut. No need to log in again. Because the information to log in to Orkut we require Gmail account. So Gmail already you logged in. So there is no need to log in again for Orkut. But if you are not logged into Gmail and directly you are opening the Orkut, it will ask you to log in which means the information is shared from one tab to another tab okay likewise say in first tab you are logged in to facebook in second tab you are trying to open Facebook home page what will happen it will ask you login it will not ask you login the Facebook page will be open to you directly so how it is identifying in a new tab that tab is different this tab is different each tab can be considered as a new window as a new window as a new instance of the browser but information of session will be shared by a browser in tabs open for all the tabs getting <coughs> yeah, 
fine let's have an example let us see what is happening without i use any session with i'll not use session i want to show you what will happen if we are not using session state let us create a new page default.aspx one more page i want to add default2.aspx fine so this is my page in a default page in a default to i'll just say something like welcome okay welcome now from this page i want to go to the default to page i write a condition over here response dot redirect default to dot spx is some response dot write invalid login attempt okay let's execute the login page redirect to default to saying some welcome message okay i'll just copy the url okay i'll close the browser instance i copied the url i am closing the browser instance and i'll try to open it in a different browser You can see that I am able to access default to page directly. Okay, default to page I am accessing directly. 
so the requirement is obviously i have to come from login page if i am the authenticate and authorized user then only default two page should be displayed to me otherwise it should display me default page as a login page but here directly i am able to access the default page default two page default i can access i can just change the url default two page it it is giving it is giving me directly the page itself suppose this default two is a secure page to access this page compulsory login is required a user must be authenticated but if the url says to us like this and if we know the page name directly if i enter into the address bar it is giving me so this is the application we have not used any session concept without any session so how i can implement this is nothing but in default page i'll use session i'll create a session in default page here i'll create a session okay when username is this and when password is this so based on some condition i'll create a session over here and that session i'll carry that session value i will carry out throughout the application throughout the application okay let's see that so i'll copy the design part div let us create a new folder session login.aspx is there let us add login.aspx page in session folder login dot spx page i am adding login page load event button login click more page default page just display the hello message to that user over here in label okay then we have a link button coding of link button page load event 